was dancing. I dance into the music. We're a little bit hyper today. <laughs> I'm hyper off of water. Would you like to uh, share what you're hyper off of? Yes, I have finally started the water habit, you guys. In carbonated form. <laughs> For anybody on here, please don't leave us. <laughs> oh my God, my hair sticking up. It's very gray. South Alpha. Aww, what we get today? <laughs> My hair's everywhere because I washed it this morning. Yeah, so it's funny yesterday. I'm poofy. I think it's poofy. And it's not all pretty and braided. Nobody is speaking. We have David Gray. Hi, David Gray. Hello, David. How are you? He is here, he says. Well, welcome. He's probably listening to us blabber. <laughs> Well, it is the Chatterbox, and yeah. we like to chatter all the time, even when we're not on YouTube. I know, right? We chatter every day about whatever. Talk all the time and never say nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't amount to much, I guess. <laughs> so how are you doing, David? He went silent on us. He's like, these two chicks. He's like, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm sticking in here or not. Ooh, he's cooking beef stew. Ooh. You know, I have one, um, what, one, I had put some in a baggies and brought home with me my beef stew that I made last time. And I have one thawing out for supper tonight. Mm -hmm. My last bag. Well, once this video ends, I have a very small time frame. I got to film one, two, three videos and have them done almost to the end. Well, one basically, two basically totally done around five o'clock. Today? Yes. And have them out? Well, one won't drop until Thursday when the recipe box will premiere. And then one drops Friday, and then one I'm just filming to add in. I'm, I'm going to put together a video of a few things that I do when I'm on a diet. So, anyway. You're just a busy, good, busy girl. We're hoping it turns out because it's going to be in such a hurry. But <laughs> they will. I It'll be good. It, I hope. It's I got to watch. <laughs> It's pizza crust, and it has to rise. Ah, oh, it'll work out. Um, I've got to watch your video from yesterday. I saw it, and then I got busy doing something, and I totally forgot. Oh, it was really short. It was like barely over four minutes. <laughs> so it's going to take a long time to watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> I've had to get creative on this air fryer thing and think of things to cook. Because they yeah. have fire series, but I don't typically use it for a main meal. I mean, I mean there's a lot of frozen stuff that you is. can just pop in there. That's that's what it's good for. I use it for French fries and stuff, you know. Yeah, I mean, I use that it way. for fries if we're going to have burgers or something at times. Um, but most of the time, it's used for frozen pizzas, cheese sticks, chimichangas, corn dogs. You know, whatever quick, but right. very few times have I used it to make a main dish. And so I'm like, Ooh. I need to think of what to put in there. Got to figure it out. But the recipe box is going to be in the 40s this week. So our main dish is coming from 1943. And we were spared from having to eat liver loaf. My kids were getting worried. <laughs> I got to try liver loaf. I'm sure it's. Oh, I'm sure you need it. You'd be more like gizzard loaf or something, probably. I'm sure I would like it. Um, <laughs> since I, I mean, it just depends on what's in it, you know, how it's made. But yeah. it doesn't sound appetizing, but I love liver, so that's why I'm thinking it'd be good. But 1940s is sketchy. 
when it comes to food. As far as the top stuff, we would eat at my house. Right. I mean, you probably wouldn't eat most of it. Well, I mean, me and Marlon are the only ones that'll eat meatloaf. We're the only ones that'll eat spam. Yeah, I mean, I like spam. I like spam. I, too. I like it fried and, you know, on toasted bread with mustard. It's really good. And I know uh, some of you guys will probably think I'm weird, but anyway. I you like got to cut the mustard. Well. <laughs> no, I don't do mustard. The only time I do mustard is in potato salad. So I don't eat potato salad. You don't eat potato salad? No, it's got like chunks of onions and pickles in it. That's just gross. What? <laughs> you are not American, girl. No, I am American all the way. <laughs> I love it fresh. I love it when it's right when it's done and you make it. And that's just the best. But yeah, I like egg, pickle, onion, all that good stuff in it. Yep. Have a well, we have four in here. I wonder if two of them are, our, are ourselves. <laughs> David Maybe David so. Doesn't eat, he doesn't eat potato salad. David doesn't eat potato salad neither. My goodness, y'all. No, it's a little sketchy. <laughs> I will eat. I'll eat it once in a while if I make it myself. Yeah. But really, when you stop and think about it, who puts mayonnaise and mustard in potatoes? I mean, come on. I dip my potatoes in ketchup. Well, yeah, I do too. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't know why. But yeah, mayonnaise and mustard go in potato salad. And I will eat potatoes any way you can fix them. Yeah, because I still yeah. got to do that video on the fondant potatoes. The what? Fondant potatoes. Oh, okay, yeah. They're so good. I and love potatoes. I mean, I've been slacking off of them here lately, but I really love potatoes. Anyway, I love to fry. I love to cut them up in chunks and fry them with onion. And some green bell pepper. Throw a Not, Yeah. In there. Salt, pepper, garlic. I would do all that. Your own. It's good. It's yep, good. yep, yep. As long as the peppers and onions aren't chunky, they got to be sliced thin. They got to be soft. Yes. Too. I don't want to crunch it. Come on, baby. Yeah. Well, whoever else is in here, identify yourself. Please come and chat with us. Inquiring minds want to know who is watching. <laughs> who is watching this train wreck? I'm joking. <laughs> train wreck today. <laughs> oh, my cow. Even the dog agrees. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to mute it for a second so I can get her to be quiet. Oakley Dookley. Maybe oh. she's going to behave. She's ornery. She's so ornery. Nobody's going to say anything. <laughs> They're hiding behind a camera. Yes, they are. Well, um, we're just killing time till Leanne gets here. <laughs> yeah, we have a guest coming on, yeah. but uh, she's going to be, you know, a little bit later, okay. but. Uh, would you like to do our questions? I mean, I don't know if we'll have anybody to speak up. Yes, David can answer them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure if he, I've never seen him, so I'm not sure if he knows me at all. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Live with that Belinda and Chuck. Hey, I got in on part of you guys' live this morning. It was great. Um, they went live with Terry from Empty Homestead. Oh, really? I missed it. Pine Tree okay. Hill is coming to the rescue. Sorry, gals. Both hands are busy cleaning. That's yeah. all right. <clears throat> I did some of that yesterday, cleaning. <coughs> David's cutting up vegetables. Mmm, yummy. While I am on here, though, my oldest niece and her husband are celebrating their anniversary today. So 
Well, happy, happy anniversary. anniversary, Ray and Anna. Happy anniversary. How many years? Don't ask me that. Don't ask you that for it. <laughs> <laughs> See, my oldest great niece is 18, so longer than that. <laughs> yeah. They've moved off to, to Hot Springs. We miss them. Ah. See, See, I'm bad. I'm bad with age. When it comes to age. Can't remember people's age. But I've used that. I mean, I've always been good with the uh, birthdays for the most part. But uh, just the age, I'm terrible with. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do age very well <clears throat> for the most part. I don't do years very well. I'm pretty good with birthdays. But uh, anyway, okay. So we just thought, you know, to pass some time, we would just pull some questions out and do it while we're waiting on our guests. So uh, go for it, Sherry. <laughs> Are we going to rotate? Or you can do your first five and then I'll do mine. So we're going to let you guys answer first. And then we'll give our opinion, I guess, as we go along. Or maybe we should just let them answer. What do you think? We can let them answer. And then if we decide to answer, I guess we can answer too. But we'll let them try and decide even though they don't really know us. Because we're, we're not going to influence your answers either way. So we'll just let you go. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so out of me and Shannon, who would you think is the most likely to be scared of spiders? Any takers? <laughs> Anyone want to guess? Who would you think would be petrified of a spider? I don't think anybody's going to answer. Well, I don't like spiders. If there's a spider in my tub, I'm calling my husband or my son to come get it out. I don't want nothing to do with them. I cannot. Well, David said you. <laughs> well, I guess it would be both of us because I do not do spiders. Y'all, I have a funny thing that happened to me about two years ago. It's funny now. Um, but uh, I was down in the sink, the bathroom sink, brushing my teeth. And you know that extra, that, that drain, if it fills up, for the water to go back out instead of overflowing. Mm -hmm. Well, one decided to crawl out of that little hole while I'm down with my face mm -mm. <laughs> in the sink. And oh my goodness, I think I threw my toothbrush and everything. <laughs> but uh, yes, no, I no, I thank you. Just Roberta, if I didn't, hello. Hi, mm -hmm. Roberta, and hi, hey, Tina. Hey. Hey, Tina. Somebody else said something. Oh, um, where'd it go? Pine Tree Hill wants to know who lives further south. Probably me by just a hair. Maybe. I think so. Just just, just a fraction. Yeah. Because we're not too far apart from one another. Yeah. Um, next question. <laughs> Between me and Shannon, who would be most likely to fall down the stairs? <laughs> so, in other words, who's clumsy? <laughs> I would say Shannon. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Good guess there, David. <laughs> I'm clumsy. I really am. This one could go either way. I feel like. Who is the most likely to get their friends in trouble? Hmm. 
we're both kind of crazy when we get together. Yeah, we have fun. <laughs> Clumsy is the name of one of my cats, Pine Tree Hill. <laughs> I just said Shannon. <laughs> so I'm an angel. I'm innocent. Well, David said you, so I guess it's both of us. Uh, yeah, we're probably pretty equal. Who is most likely to be late to a really important event? No. No, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> well, the other day we were both early to where we were going. <laughs> we were late getting Chatterbox started. <laughs> I guess that would be both of us. But, oh, thanks, Sherry. <laughs> but for the most part, I am way too early everywhere I go normally. I'm me. having to sit and wait. I'm just, I'd rather be early than late. Okay. This one, I feel like I know. To be late, Sherry. That's pulling done, Chuck. Uh, David said him. <laughs> I was a hair late to your live this morning. Just, just, just a fraction. Who is the most likely <laughs> to say the wrong thing at the exact wrong moment? Hmm. Watch it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my goodness. We need Tina in here. She's not answering. She's staying, Tina is staying out of it. <laughs> She's like, uh, yeah, I'm not getting in this. Uh, Roberta said me. <laughs> well, I can tend to say the, the wrong thing. <laughs> my mouth gets me in trouble. Sometimes I can. Some, sometimes. Um, sometimes it's just yeah. better to be. To be quiet. <laughs> All right. Leanne is in the house. So I think I'll bring her on. And she will be here for Shannon's set of questions that she's going to ask. And okay. maybe she'll throw her opinion. She, she knows us slightly. Mostly by watching. Um, basically all by watching. Um, but um, anyway. Maybe she'll throw her two cents in. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are, are y'all folks doing? Good. How are you? I'm all right. Sorry I was late. Oh, you're good. Hey. The cat the wants time. the attention. <laughs> I just got home. And so she's like, I want attention. Huh? Well, anyway. So what are we all talking about? I heard you talking about being late or early or something. We are doing the who's most likely questions. Oh. And um, the oh, princess wave. We want to see the princess wave. Woo! Uh, Hi, everybody. Tina says I think I figured out how to see the comments, but I'm not sure if it's appropriate because I can't see you when I'm looking at the comments. <laughs> Tina says yeah. she doesn't work, so she's copping that excuse on us today. She's not going to answer. <laughs> That's okay, Tina. We'll let you slide. Yeah. We'll get you on here one of these days and pepper you with them. How love uh, the princess wave for Bertus. <laughs> All right, Shannon. You got your file. Are you ready? Let's do sure. It. Okay. Number one, who is most likely to get upset for the most stupid <laughs> reasons? <laughs> Sherry, come up with these. <laughs> I think it's Sherry. <laughs> what does everybody else think? Who is most likely to get upset for the most stupid? It seems so easy going. <laughs> Shannon, baby. <Sure. laughs> Ooh, now there are times that Shannon has to level me out a little bit here and there. <laughs> well, I think maybe it might be a little bit both. Yeah, I mean, I was, we all can do that. Way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, huh? I was leveling you out yesterday. Yeah, she was leveling me out yesterday. <laughs> I think we all have those days. Because last week, I got so upset about how my chocolate wasn't grabbing the Cool Whip candy. And I was just trying to make a simple, easy recipe for people to follow. And I couldn't handle it. 
<laughs> and I got this big giant headache for days. <laughs> I did that when I was trying to make homemade gravy. It oh. kept jumping up on me, and I was I was getting upset. I'm like, nope, I quit. It, it took me years to figure out how to make gravy. I'm just terrible at it. Sometimes it could be thin as paint thinner or thick as wallpaper paste. My mother-in-law had to teach me, and she can't cook. Well, well see, I just got a package. I I am um, taking the points for the team on this one. Roberta is me. Belinda and Chuck went with me. I guess I'm more excitable. It just means you're more passionate about things. How's that? <laughs> hey, I want one of those immersion blenders. I got one for Christmas. Did you really? I, I didn't get the brand that I wanted, but I got one. <laughs> I would like to get one of those. Because Vitamix had them for $100, $99 the other week. I'm like, oh, man. Because yeah, I'm like, how, how can anybody afford $150 for an immersion blender? Valentine's is coming up. <laughs> well, I, my mother-in-law bought me a KitchenAid immersion oh. blender. So I have That's to settle for that. That's nice. <laughs> All right. That's number two. Who is most likely to be the most sarcastic? Well, that's easy. That's Shannon. <laughs> yes! What? No! No! Yes, yes, yes. I knew I was going to go down with that one. Oh, am I, am I red? <laughs> I'm like, this is not very Mennonite like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got hay fever. <laughs> This is great. I love that one. Now you're gonna have to come. No one else is gonna call me. They're staying out of this one. So should you ask the, the people in the chat to, for their opinion? Yeah, no one's answering. <laughs> well, I with Belinda and Chuck. Chuck said Mennonite. Mennonite, <laughs> Now talk. Don't be branding me. I got my own brand. Oh my God. Lucy, you're going to get put in time out. <laughs> she just loves my headphones. Oh, All right. I'm sorry. Next question since we I'm don't want to elaborate later on that one. Actually, I'm only sarcastic if someone is sarcastic to me. Oh, oh she's got to tear the blame off now. <laughs> it's, it's Sherry's fault. <laughs> Parts of me wants to be more sarcastic in my videos, so I'm, like, funnier. But I'm like, no. My mother-in-law's like, no, you're teaching people something. They want to take you seriously, so you got to be mature in the video. Right. So she has a point. <laughs> so I get to be goofy on, other, and on lives. Um, I think I picked the worst five questions, Sherry. I'm so glad you took the last five. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Uh, who will most likely be uh, unable to keep a secret for just 30 minutes? <laughs> hmm. Just 30 minutes? So, so I should be political now and not say anything. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to answer these questions. <laughs> They're like, I'm staying out of this. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, don't know. Think, I feel like it can. It, this one balances out because there's been times that she has surprised me with something, and she kept it from me and would not tell me. But on the flip side, I busted her good the other day on the live, and I didn't tell her. So I feel like it it kind of balances out. I think it depends on what the secret is, because there's some secrets I won't tell my husband. Well, don't. Tell him that. <laughs> but. But, you know, there's there's some things that I can't hold in. But, you know. Now, if a friend tells me, you know, tells me something and says, you know, please keep it private, it's not going anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But, like, if it's a gift I've got for my husband or something, I have a hard time keeping it hidden until it's time. I want to give it to him early or whatever, you know. So, I have a hard time with that. I have a hard time there, too. But, uh. Anyway, okay, 
who is most likely to forget what they told someone? <laughs> that one is easy if you know us. <laughs> uh, well, Shannon can't remember my name sometimes in her lives. Does that help? Because <laughs> when I first went to her life, she's like, kind of tonight. I don't remember your name. <laughs> I'm in trouble here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I show you real colors, but that's who I am. It is me. I'm, I'm very forgetful. Very forgetful. But you're not the only one if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> Melanie can't remember my name either. Hey, I don't remember a lot of people's names. That's why when I say something to somebody on the live, a lot of times, or if I say it in the chats on the lives and I call them by their channel name, it's because I don't remember what their name is. Well, some people don't want to be called by their real name. They want to be yeah. called by their brand or their channel name because that's right. branding where they just want to be private. So I don't know. I would probably drive check, you know, probably be easier than, than running. So maybe, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see. You got one more question. Most likely to forget where they parked their car. So, if Sherry came up with these questions, <laughs> <laughs> would she be more likely to be the one? <laughs> Let me guess if, I'm for, if I'm forgetful with everything else, then this question is on you, Sherry. <laughs> I was telling Shannon earlier a while ago, I was like, if I don't look at the aisle number at Walmart, I'm not going to remember where I parked. <laughs> I'll be looking for my car in the parking lot, y'all. I have forgotten where I parked one time in my life, and it was because I was emotionally drained because my father-in-law was, my future father-in-law was passing away. Hmm. So, yeah, I can relate if that's part of your life, but not everybody's immediate family dies every day. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, I have forgotten one time, but uh, normally I park in the same row that I always pull into. I, my OCD, I guess. Shannon is predictable. I pull in, and <laughs> that row I go down that I pull in, I that's the spot I park in, you know. That it, it's comfort. Yes. That's her security blanket. Well, for not knowing you two, I think I did pretty good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lola never remembers where she parks. I had a boss tell uh, me once I'm good at reading people. Well, you did pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I ask whoever I'm in town with, I'm usually asking where did we park. And, and, and here's what's funny. I can ride to town with someone else, my husband or whoever it may be, my mom, my daughter. When we come out of the store, I'm depending on them to lead me to where we park. I don't pay attention. Don't you have one of those toppers for your antenna? Because I got this like when I first started I driving. I probably forget which topper was mine. <laughs> so you need a bright it's yellow one that's blinking. My kids will tell you, I have lived in this area all but about a year and a half of my life. Uh, maybe two years. I still am directionally challenged when I go to town. I will take you the long way around because I don't know the shortcuts and I've drove all over the place. It's because I do not process what I'm doing. I just do it. I don't, I don't think. <laughs> I don't retain. <laughs> I'm not good with directions. Without my GPS, I would get lost so easily i mean not around our hometown i know how to get around here but going out of town you betcha i'm gonna be lost i can still even though i have went up in that area hunting times and i know where i'm going i'm still when i go meet up with shannon or i'm going there to see other friends i'm still gonna put it in my gps even i mean even though i know where i'm going but i'm sometimes not Sometimes when I'm coming home, I like to put it in my GPS just so I know how long, much longer it is till I get home. 
That's what I do too. Hello, Colleen. So glad you came in. Um, Alyssa is in here. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. David wants to know if he should put mushrooms in his stew. If you're asking my opinion, I would say absolutely not. I say nope. I can't stand <laughs> mushrooms. Leanne is going to be the only one that's going to vote for mushrooms. Amen. Is she still carrying her signs from Dad's program? <laughs> We will cook for views. I love it. <laughs> Lisa, the other night, we're like popping up all these signs. <laughs> I need this no, one for Lisa. <laughs> I need some of those signs. That's hilarious. She says she hits the alarm and finds it. Then virtual hugs all over the place. I think what that, yeah, virtual hugs. That's why I just wanted to hug Daz. Daz is a great guy. I, I love Daz's channel. Hi, Colleen. But good to see you on here. We're through with all the questions. I hope y'all know us more on all our, what you call them, flaws, quirks, <laughs> twitches. It's, it's, ca it's called being real. Yeah, it's called being real. It's very real. <laughs> And Colleen missed out on the questions. Yes, Colleen. You'll have to catch Colleen the replay. <laughs> Colleen will have to catch the replay. Yeah. And Colleen knows me pretty well, so. Yeah. She'll, she'll be sending her, us her answers, I'm sure. <laughs> but. Um, oh, here's we... another good sign. I apologize for the groundhog. <laughs> because I'm from Pennsylvania. There you go. Before we get into Leanne, um, I'm just going to say this really quick. My Monday afternoon lives, before I forget, I'm not going to do them. So for right now, because I've started the new live, the recipe box, and I love doing it. It is so much fun, and I'm having a blast. So it's on Thursdays at 11 a.m. Central. So that's what I'm going to do to replace my 4 o'clock Monday afternoon lives for now. I'm not going to say I'll never go back to afternoon lives. I don't know. And what else was I going to say, Shannon? What else was we going to announce? Uh, I forgot. Shannon's not You're going asking to Shannon. Yeah. <laughs> we were, we're, we're in trouble. Both of us are forgetting. <laughs> Shannon's not going live this week. Oh, right. So. Yes. I'm not going live <laughs> Thursday. Yeah. I don't remember. I'll be live next Thursday. I do every other week. Yeah. So. If we think about what else it was, then we'll throw it out there. Anyway, we brought Leanne back because about a month ago, well, about a month and a week ago, maybe a week and a half. I'm not sure. It was uh, December. Was it December? Yeah, because we were the same yeah, day that December? you had me on. We buried somebody from church. That's about a month and a half. Oh, wow. She died right before Christmas. Wow. But anyway, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of our audience, somebody, I can't remember who it was, suggested that we do. It a, was Roberta. Or was it Roberta? A challenge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's blaming <laughs> Roberta. <laughs> Roberta, this is your fault. <laughs> I also saw Brenda. Red Bird Farm. Yeah. She said something, but I don't remember. Yeah, if she said today she has not landed any. <laughs> She's working on her own channel. <laughs> anyway, yes. they y'all suggested that we take two of Leanne's dishes and do a challenge and try to make two of her recipes. So we chose the sticky buns and the cheeseburger soup. Okay. So we were, gonna, <laughs> we were gonna tag it the Mennonite Farmhouse Challenge. I'm the only video I have seen out there. <laughs> Shannon failed. And that was the sticky buns. And uh, Roberta is confessing it was her. She suggested it. So Roberta, did you cook? Fess up. <laughs> Anyway, the but, buns were the bomb. She they did a really good job. They look good. They were, I made a big mess. 
and I was scared spitless. Bread you were talking bread. to me in the video. I'm like, oh, how am I supposed to answer you when you're asking me? <laughs> Great. Making bread for me is like making gravy used to be. This is not consistent. But if you do them again and again, you will be perfect at them. I don't know who's going to eat all those sticky buns, but you'll be oh, better. Bread Practice makes perfect. It's the red bird. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. We were just talking about you. Yeah. You're we just talking hurting. about these. Um, her yeah, ears are burning. <laughs> she knew she had to show up. Yeah. So did you get uh, any um, sticky buns or cheeseburger soup? Roberta done left. She's in the kitchen trying to stir up something right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, Miss Brenda. We were just saying. Yeah, uh, it was all good. We were trying to figure out who brought up the sticky bun or to do a video of Leanne's in we're December. Being, we're being sweet today. Yeah, we are being <laughs> sweet outside of those questions that Sherry come up with. Yeah, Brenda, you're going to have to check the That's replay fun. out. <laughs> they asked questions to me and I let them have it. No one wanted to answer Harley, except for Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't care. Oh my God. <sighs> That's, yeah, it's just who I am. I'll, I'll tell you if you want to know. <laughs> Either you like me or you hate me. <laughs> hey, that's a good good thing for another live, Shannon. Like me, okay. me. Love me or hate me or like me yeah, or hate me. State of fact. <laughs> I mean, that's how I have good friends, you know. Right. They know they can Yeah, I can be myself and. If they want an opinion, I'll get it to them, you know, and they were like, thanks. Thanks for that rawness. Well, I think you're awesome. Roberta says she couldn't do it because she doesn't have a kitchen to cook in. She has an induction stove, a confection oven, a toaster, a coffee maker in her bedroom to do some basic cooking. Aww. Well, it's okay. We'll let you off. <laughs> Your child, Shannon. <laughs> I think mine went to bed. Oh. One of mine called me. said, I'm going to be spending time at my mom's so I can use her kitchen to do some cooking recipe videos and get her to be a part of it. That would be awesome. And now I have even more videos to cook from. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to get one together again. Um, my oldest... My 25-year-old son called me a little while ago. You know, he owns his own trash business. And he's like, Mom, is there any cheese sticks left? And I'm like, yeah. can you put me some in the air fryer? I'm coming through there. I'm going to come by and get a drink. <laughs> got to take care of them grown kids, too. Did you say come by there and get a drink? Yeah, he come by and got a drink. And Do I die, Dr. Pepper? Probably. No, actually, I think he got tea. I think he actually got tea. Yeah, but Mama fixed him some lunch. He came in. I was like, well, they just went off. <laughs> That's so sweet. I know. I'm a precious. I'm just, aw. Anyway, Leanne, what's been going on in your kitchen? Well, I'm participating in Air Fryer February collaboration. Uh oh. Where I just posted my chicken patty sandwich for the Air Fryer that I made from scratch. Hey. And I'm going to be working on editing my cheesecake video here shortly after we're off here. Mm -hmm. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Then, well, Sherry might know what I'm doing Friday. If she reads the chat we're in. Yeah. We're in a collaboration for, I don't know, are we allowed to say that term? I can't remember anymore. The big game. There we go. We're well, going to say the big I game. Would. I, I don't I, Technically, I don't know that they could hold you because they technically can't copyright those words, I don't think. Just from what I've researched it. Well, anyway, we're coming out with appetizers or entrees or desserts for the big game on Sunday. Huh? Yeah, so, I'm filming so, it today. So. so I'm going to show you how to make a bacon cheeseburger dip in the slow cooker. Okay. Oh, with corn chips. That sounds good. Oh. So after I make this big pot of dip that we're not going to eat, 
like that because my husband doesn't like corn chips. I'm going to put in some black beans and maybe some corn and bake it like a casserole. Mm. I wish I was in Pennsylvania. <laughs> it is so chips. good if with corn chips. Oh. Uh, Leanne Roberta has a comment for me, for you. I've never made them. What did I use anise? In? I think I used anise in um some kind of bake pear recipe once, but isn't I don't know. That, I haven't touched that anise. What white jelly beans are <laughs> and black licorice. Oh, I can't stand black licorice. Licorice. I'll tell you what it does make. It makes good catfish meat. I'm you sure. Can, you can put some catfish on that stuff. Um, so I, one of my friends requested that I did an air, do an air fryer series. So I started one this month. And I was talking to Shannon earlier. And even on here earlier. I don't usually use an air fryer for a main course. So I'm like trying to scratch for something to come up. I mean, you can, but typically I'm cooking on a stove. There's nothing wrong with it. I, it does make some of the juiciest meat. I will say that. the pork I like hamburgers in the air fryer. Very juicy. Uh, and, and steak. Mm -hmm. The and pork chicken. one I done. Chicken was, is good. The pork one was just oozing. I mean, it was so juicy. Mine's big enough to rotisserie a four-pound chicken. Yeah. Um, and I think... I've done a boneless beef um, chuck in it, slow slow roasted it because it has a you know spiff on it. Mm -hmm. Oh my, that was good. It makes some delicious meat, but to me, I don't think about it because you're so used to the oven. When I'm when I'm thinking about doing doing supper, I'm automatically at the stove. You know, I'm just yeah, that's I'm, me. I, I don't think, hey, I could put this in the air fryer. It don't really cross my mind, so. Um, hi, Barb. Hi, Barb. Yeah, I think of my air fryer when it comes to frozen foods, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. But I have cooked chicken in mine. Mm -hmm. and it's very good. Brenda wants to know where did you learn to cook at because it always looks so good. Hold your hat. Hold your hats here. I learned by watching YouTube. Really? And doing it. Wow. Because my, my parents, they, they cook Pennsylvania Dutch. And that's just basically soup and slippery pot pie and hog maw. And yeah, I just can't eat that every day. What is slippery pot yeah. pie? I'm almost afraid to ask. <laughs> I was going to ask that too. And then the next one you mentioned too. I don't know what that is. <laughs> slippery pot pie is basically a soup with loose beef in it or chicken. Like it's stringy. Yeah. And then, and yeah, with your beef broth. Then you have these big pie noodles. They're it's just basically pasta noodles, but they're home cut and rolled out, and you just oh, dump no, them in. Kind of sort of. And that's all it is, and salt and pepper. Hmm, sounds good. Well, wow. my husband won't touch it. <laughs> so I, so yeah. And, and then you get talking about the other thing you had. What hog, hog maw? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Never heard of such. I'm not sure I want to. <laughs> Actually, it was one of my favorite things that my mom would make. But it is um, just loose sausage and diced up potatoes cooked inside of a pig stomach. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Never mind. <laughs> the stomach off. <laughs> like the the stomach will come up crispy after it's been roasted so long. It's mm. just basically, it's basically a natural Dutch oven, I guess. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't sell you on that, huh? <laughs> We're just like, are you okay? <laughs> And my favorite, oh. my favorite soup growing up was chicken corn soup. It was just basically chicken and the broth from chicken broth and corn mm -hmm. and hard boiled eggs and maybe some celery. That sounds good. Yeah, it, was, it Yeah, it was my favorite growing up. 
Sorry, Brenda. Hi, That's Matt. what I was thinking, Brenda. It sounded good until the stomach part. I'm Hello, telling you, don't <laughs> don't knock it till you try it. Let me tell you, I actually might make it for the channel if I can find a big stomach. I am not copying that recipe. <laughs> I'm telling you, the, the potatoes are so fluffy and light. The potatoes and sausage I can handle. It would be... It, it's just it's just the way to keep them together and the, all the flavors come together. I, I can wrap it in pie crust or something. It'll all come stay together. Maybe. Sometimes it's healthier than wrapping it in foil or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I'm telling you. <sighs> it's better than eating tripe or something. I don't eat tripe either. My dad ate tripe. I don't either. What else is disgusting? We're Tom hopeless. <laughs> huh? We're just hopeless. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've tried to tell myself I was going to cook beef tongue once. Then I watched how to prepare it on YouTube. I'm like, nope, can't do it. It has two big layers mm. of skin that you have to peel off after you boil it for two hours. I'm like, nope. No tacos. That would finish me off right there. <laughs> I was like, no tacos worth that. They're supposed to make the best tacos. I'm sure Colleen's already said this once before. Uh, she's Colleen is saying tripe and beans are nice. See, that's how they eat. Really I, don't think I've ever tried. I don't think I've tried tripe. It's just. It looks nasty sitting in the refrigerator. Roberta said the stomach is actually cleaned out very well first and the inside is scraped clean. Yeah, it's just basically like the lining of a sausage link. I guess that's the best way to it's describe not talk it. about my sausage links because if you tell me something about the casing, then I'm going to quit eating sausage. <laughs> casing is just the... <laughs> Do you know where casing comes from? It's not disgusting. <laughs> I'm sure it's very good. <laughs> <sighs> People only knew where their food comes from. Let me tell you. <laughs> we don't think about that part, I guess. <laughs> Brenda does sausage, potatoes, bacon, bell peppers, onions, scrambled eggs, and cheese for burritos. Hey, now that sounds good. I've made stuff like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Roberta is just going to bust out and say it. Intestines are casing. <laughs> See, thanks, Roberta. I'm glad I didn't have to say it. No more links for me. I'm joking. <laughs> when they say they used everything but the squeal, they're not kidding. So, Colleen says with a plate of plain rice. No, she's still on the trot and beans. Yeah, she loves Ross. Yeah. Roberta said it is what it is. <laughs> True. I, you know, I'm discovering sausage is high in fat. It's high in, you know, but it's probably not supposed to be on my diet. So. <laughs> Neither is that can that you're slamming down. <laughs> well... <laughs> Y'all get on her. <laughs> everything is good in moderation. Yeah. I should be listening to this as myself because at church today we had a feast. Oh my. Uh, Everybody brought something. Moderation, Cherry. I drink it in moderation. I drink water in moderation. Carbonated water. <laughs> Extreme moderation. Is it is it seasoned water? <clears throat> yes, it is flavored. <laughs> so I, only, uh, my I only got a few an hour, huh? Oh, only a few. Let's see. Since about, what, 10? I've already went through a Diet Coke. This is my Diet of Ripper. It's almost gone. about to start a third. I brought it back up. <laughs> my kid's been right. I might have food. one soda a week, if I'm lucky. Oh, girl. I drink water. I do too. I don't you drink soda. How much. This is why my skin looks the way it does without <laughs> any makeup. I added it up one time, roughly. I estimated just counting all the 12 packs and all the cases. I probably go through 120 some cans a month. 
just add one. <laughs> That's about how much water I go through, probably. Well, maybe. I don't know. But I drink more water. Um, well, I'll have tea, though, now. I've been drinking green tea now. I switched that out for my coffee. No coffee and have green tea. So trying to do better because I was regular on coffee. I tried to have a half coffee at church today. Oh, Lord. Help me. <laughs> my daughter I couldn't, I couldn't swallow it. Two, Brenda's on two cups of coffee now on Pepsi. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's a hard habit. I have tried to break it, and the older I get, and the more I try to break it, I cannot. Uh, Why is her Brenda bringing up Mountain Dew? She said, "You know that it has two unusual ingredients: vegetable oil to maintain the cloudy look, and cancer com causing bromide to keep the oil suspended." I'm not a big Mountain Dew fan. I used to love Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew makes me thirsty, and that doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it really does. It doesn't. So it's the person that drinks diet soda. <laughs> I used to drink it when I was a kid, but I don't think I've had any since I was a kid. Hey, I am not alone. Brenda said no water, LOL, but should. My mother-in-law does not drink water. All she drinks is coffee all day long. And this is why she's like 95 pounds. My now now Barb says she drinks two monsters a day. My mother would jack my jaws if she caught me with an energy drink. <laughs> I've never had an energy yeah, drink. Never. Um now if I do drink a soda once in a blue moon, I like Pepsi or Coke. Yeah. But that's it. But I mean I haven't even had that and I don't know when. Uh, Brenda said her daughter used to drink Mountain Dew and it made her so hyper. She had limits to one a day. But yeah, if I got it caught with an energy drink and my mom found out about it, even though I'm 45, I would get one of the world's longest worst lectures probably that existed. She can't stand it. <laughs> you know what those things do for you? Or do you? I can just hear her now. But uh, Brenda drinks four cups of coffee every day with breakfast. Then water. Four. OJ. I might drink oh. more ounces. <laughs> I was drinking about a cup and a half for a long time. Well, actually, I started out, I was drinking two cups for years. Then I knocked it down to a cup and a half. And now I just cut it out completely, pretty much. I am highly sensitive to caffeine. How are you? <sighs> One time I made cold brew coffee. Oh, my. That stuff was good. <laughs> Imagine you got some tall cooking done that day, didn't you? Oh, it was midnight, and I was going like this in bed. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's like, what is wrong <laughs> with you? He's like, you need to go do something. <laughs> That's funny. Was like, her coffee comes from her morning and evening. Her water comes from her morning and evening coffee. That's My water comes in carbonated form from other sources. Energy drink drinks ruin your liver. Hmm. Roberta has switched to decaf. Barb is 55 and drinking them. Well, there goes Shannon pulling out that water bottle. Bip. This is what you should be bip. having. Bip. <laughs> Like Adam Sandler. Sip. <laughs> Sip. Oh, all right, Leanne. What you got coming up? What you gonna be videoing next? Beyond Friday. <sighs> That's not even plan or thought of. Actually, I know I need to do Amish sweet bread because I promised that from the pump the pineapple stuffing video. <laughs> and then people are asking me for hamburger buns from my air fryer February video. Then Next Saturday is my second installment of Air Fryer Friday, where I'm or February, where I'm going to be doing coconut shrimp with copycat outback sauce. Mmm, mm, yeah, that's good. And then March, I have a casserole collaboration I'm a part of, and a canning collaboration I'm part of. Then I have my own collaboration that I'm starting. She's busy, busy, busy. busy. Here we yeah. go. Our first migraine comment, Shannon. What? Water hydrates your brain to prevent migraines. 
Well, I drink water all the time and it's not helping. <laughs> my mama always I think says. I was tanning yesterday. My mama, <laughs> yes, my mama always bring says that, up. <laughs> that headaches yeah. are from a lack of water to the brain. <laughs> Shannon's I think I'm lack of a brain. <laughs> I'm, I'm lacking the brain. What was it? The scarecrow finally had a brain. <laughs> so I was giving Shannon a hard time yesterday going through a food food thing about causing the migraine triggers. <laughs> and cheese, yes. Because she is a cheese head. I'm a cheese head and he brings on migraines. When I went to buy groceries this time, Kayla was like, Mom, we don't need any cheese. <laughs> There's cheese everywhere in my fridge. But I started the diet for the 5,000th time yesterday. So, y'all pray. Just 5,000? 5, 5,000th time. She's moved it from week to week. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was staying off every week. Food. That's pretty good. I, I try to do one every day. <laughs> So I get to breakfast and bam, there we go. <laughs> she had a birthday week, so she moved it to the next week. Her yeah. daughter had a birthday week, so she moved it to the next week's Valentine's Day. So there, there, there's that in the super. Right. My daughter told me, she said, Mom, next week it'll be Valentine's week, so you won't be able to die. It's See, like, she's thinking oh, just like us. So is that why they put the Super Bowl Sunday one day, then the next day is Valentine's Day? Who planned that? <laughs> Oh, lives on cheese, she said. I do too. I have about four different kinds in my refrigerator right now. Just four? <laughs> yeah, just about four. Because I, I got it. Parmesan, mozzarella, uh, pepper jack, cheddar. I probably have five then. I forgot Parmesan. Yeah. But it's all fixing to go down. Well, my uh, mozzarella and my Parmesan is just going to go down on some homemade. I did the worst thing I could do. I bought white cheddar powder. I've never heard of that on this. So now I'm going to be learning how to make cheese sauce from white cheddar powder. And I was going to put it on my popcorn. Oh, that'd be good. I'll tell you what makes a good dip is go to the deli at the grocery store and get that um, white American cheese. Get about... Uh, eight ounces of it and go back to the Mexican section at Walmart and get an eight ounce bottle of the green taco sauce and you put eight oh. ounces of water in it. Oh, it makes some good. I, I prefer my white to my yellow. Yes. I, I have found that even when we go out to uh, restaurants. Yeah, I get the little I green chilies, the cans of green chilies and put it in my yeah, my that's in my that's in my dip. That's yeah. good. That makes it good. I'm be looking up that dip recipe now. Last year, I put uh, queso in the smoker and smoked it. That'd be good. You just can't go wrong with queso. No, it doesn't do anything to you but make you gain weight. That's what doesn't make you gain weight. Oh, right. water. Oh wait, there's water gain. Yeah, there you go. I can't have water, Shannon. It will make me gain weight. <laughs> no, actually, if you drink water, lemon water, I drink hot lemon water every afternoon, and that is supposed to be guaranteed to make you lose weight. I've lost a few pounds. I don't know if it's for that, but I no, lost. People, that's losing weight. They don't even need to lose weight. I do need to lose a few pounds. And all these people would quit losing weight that don't need to. I'm it may not finding what you lose. <laughs> it may not look like I need to, but I need to. Oh, look at all these cheeses we got going on. Hey, I have not tried that Kerrygo cheddar, but man, that Kerrygo butter is amazing. I do have Velveeta, Roberta, so I have. An extra cheese. See, all these people have more cheese than I have, so we have a cheese drawer. Really? That's how much cheese we go through. I'll make a, like Sunday night. I made a beef and vegetable soup. He put cheese on it. Well, I love cheese in mine. Cheese and crackers in it, or cheese? Well, cheeseburger soup. 
Mm-hmm. I put cheese in my potato soup. Oh, yeah, me too. Definitely. Broccoli soup. My mom yeah. brought me some broccoli and cheese soup, and I don't it was amazing. Oh, well, maybe I can do that with the white cheddar. I don't eat broccoli. <laughs> you oh, eat I know this. Mm. She doesn't eat broccoli. She doesn't eat cauliflower, I don't think. Hey, that uh, recipe box live last week was the 30s, and I made uh, the chicken divan and has broccoli in it. I survived the first three or four bites. And then it got to where it was either a mine thing or something. The broccoli got to override and everything else. And I'm like, mm -mm. I started scratching it off. I can't handle it. I, mine thing too. I would like to make that. My <laughs> husband doesn't care for broccoli. Yeah. Marlon, he was just like slurping it up, you know. The more broccoli, the better. And he's got our grand our oldest grandchild eating broccoli. Papa, can I have some of your broccoli? And I'm having to touch it and pass it from his plate to hers. And I'm like, Ugh. I love yeah. it. See, it, it. It's like shrimp. It can be only cooked so long. Then, then if it gets overcooked, no way. I did buy me some uh, plain shrimp that I'm going to cook on this diet. I just got to figure out how to cook them without frying them. I need, you know, to, to where I keep it healthy and. Yeah. Colleen says she needs to lose weight, but it won't go help. <laughs> Talking you, about food's not helping. Help, Colleen, and start changing the frog legs, you might lose some weight. <laughs> Chicken and broccoli, that will let, let you lose weight. I didn't say I wanted to hurl. No. <laughs> or my cabbage soup. Ooh. Ooh, that would be good. I love cabbage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My husband can't stand cabbage. Mine has to have it in coleslaw. I love coleslaw. I don't eat coleslaw. Mm -hmm. David says eat more mushrooms. He is still on mushrooms. Can you put them in your <laughs> has he checked out my how to can mushroom video? Yeah, I've seen that. Ooh, yeah, you know how to can them. My niece can eat just plain mushrooms. If she wants a pizza, she wants more mushrooms than anything. Oh, no. Yeah, I just no. cannot do mushroom pizza. I love the flavor of Supreme pizza. I love Me it. too. I love Supreme. That's my favorite. Okay. But we're going to eat it. I'm going to take my slice. The olives are coming off. The peppers are coming off. The onions are coming off. And the mushrooms are coming off. There's nothing left but the flavor. So I now, I don't like food. olives either. It's something about it. I don't know. I, I just don't know if it's all texture related or what. <clears throat> Olives, are a, Olives are an aphrodisiac. That's a big word. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure I can't even to, spell that word. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the califragilistic the, 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 the layman terms for that. It, it makes you um, be in the mood. Really? Mm hmm Well. Mm -hmm. So I try to feed my husband lots of olives. <laughs> All right. That's enough for that. <laughs> so that's what that word means. Aphrodisiac. Along with strawberries and olives. And strawberries. I love strawberries. But I can't do olives. Now, olives has got a funky taste. And they remind me of eyeballs. Uh, that's, that's just enough for me right there. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> <sighs> but, okay, if, when you're talking about pizza, do y'all agree with pineapple on pizza? No. It was on my pizza Friday. Yes, pineapple no. belongs on pizza. Pineapple is a fruit. It still so, belongs on pizza. So, Thank you, Leanne. <laughs> so don't be speaking no pineapple on my ham. We're going to go have pizza the next time we get together. <laughs> and we're oh, going to have can Canadian bacon with pineapple. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> next she's going to say she don't like crab and shrimp on her pizza. We go to um, the jalapeno tree and eat. And I'm like shoving all my green sauce on the chin. <laughs> she's I like, love oh, their green sauce. Like, it's the best. You're missing out. It's yeah. so good. 
I wish I could make it, but I don't know how what goes in it. Mm. So is it like a pesto or a tomatillo sauce? I think it's more cucumber and avocado kind of based, ain't it? Or is it yeah, a something like that? Or, or a chimichurri? I don't know. I've tried the what you said, the tomatillo or whatever it is. I don't like that. I've tried that. Hey, um, I've got a recipe. I made something with those things, and you had to roast them in the oven. I can't even remember. Yeah, you can't eat those raw. Video. They have to be cooked. And I can't remember what video it was. I don't, I don't even remember. We grew I some. Those things out of the oven. Those were some of the most stickiest, nastiest filling things I had ever touched. I think. See, I had people in the comments agreeing with me on pineapples. Yeah, this is my life. Don't agree with you. <laughs> I'm hosting today. They love it. They love it. They love it. <clears throat> now, Brenda said her husband hates pineapple. Help a YouTuber out. There you go. <laughs> I don't have to drink. Y'all got me to drink. We, uh, we grew tomatillos a couple of years, and we were out in the garden, my husband and I. He picks one up and husks it, and he bites into the tomatillo. <laughs> he spit it out so fast. That's funny. And I was like, honey, they need to be cooked <laughs> before they're edible. That is funny. Oh, David says pineapple must go on him. Roberta says, yes, pineapple. She drains the juice and drinks it with her pepperoni, mushroom, bell pepper, cheese, and pineapple pizza. Be right back. <laughs> Green sauce is just roasted green chili peppers. Uh, Roberta says, don't forget the mandrakes. Mandrakes? I'm not sure what mandrakes are. Let me look. Virginia says, no pineapple on her pizza. Thank you. No, Miss Virginia. Oh, she's back oh, already. Right. I'm back. Yes. Thank you, Virginia. Brenda says, Leanne, do you know how to make a green chili gravy? No. I've never made one either. I'm sure it's like tomato gravy. Yeah. I don't even know what knew that what, what that was until I was shopping in the gravy section of the supermarket. And the southern lady came up to me and start she was looking for the kitchen bouquet. And I'm like, I don't even know what kitchen bouquet is. So then she tells me that all this about tomato gravy, and I got an education. Because <laughs> us in the North don't know what tomato gravy is. I've heard of it. I've never had it. It's just basically a lot of tomatoes and, uh, you know, roux cooked down. But I'm not a huge tomato fan. See, that's why you wouldn't have a desire to make it. So I think my husband would love it. When I eat spaghetti, it's going to be sauce. I don't want no chunky tomatoes in it. Um, now we'll eat chunky salsa. I will eat rotel, but when I go to order pizza, I'm going to order it with light sauce. I, I can't handle it. It's just, I love tomatoes. I mean, but they it doesn't like me, but I love tomatoes. My husband can cut them up right from the garden. Excuse my cat, she loves this toy, it squeaks, but anyway, he'll, he'll cut them up, he'll cut them up, just slap some mayonnaise on them, and eat them as a side dish. I'll do that on bread. Put mayonnaise on bread and slice up the tomato and have a tomato sandwich. Mm -hmm. My mom always did. Yep. Well, girls, it's been a blast. We've already went like 10 minutes over with all our giggling. And... It's been fun. Yeah, so I've enjoyed it. It's yeah. served on stuffed sofa peas in Colorado. And it's so good, but she hasn't figured out how to make it yet. It has chunks of pork in it. Oh, I wonder if it's like a um, type of uh, pasoli. Danielle that comes in sometimes makes pasoli. And it has like, you can make it a green pasoli or a red pasoli. And it has the meat in it and the different peppers and stuff like that. But um, I wonder if that's what it is. I'll try to get the recipe. From Danielle, Brenda, and I'll send it to you. And you Brenda can said it. no. No? Okay. I don't know then. Uh, 
David said, like pork and green chili stew. Huh. Anyway, well, then Roots is going down next week over on Shannon's channel. Yeah. We'll be having it on my channel. Not sure if we'll have a guest or not, but we'll be here to chatter. Our sleeves. Sometimes it just happens when it happens. <laughs> True. Now I get to go film like three videos and have supper done by five o'clock tonight. So. so you better get busy, girl. It's one eleven. I'm right. And my phone keeps going off. Y'all, I got to go. Hey, everybody coming in. Thanks for all the mods, posts, and links. I know one or two of you did. And we will see you guys. Let me see. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Leanne, for coming on.